So welcome students. So let us look at these two questions. Let us see how we can solve this inequalities using wavy curve method. So as you see these questions, does they come under the topic of factorized inequalities? Yes, because they are already factorized and given to you. So x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 greater than 0. Now, what is the first step of wavy curve method? In the first step, we make all the leading coefficients in each of the factor as positive. Which has it been already done? Which has been already done because all the leading coefficients are plus ones. All are positive. Now, in the second step, what we do is we identify the critical points. The critical points are the points where each of the factor is 0. That is 1, 2, and 3. This factor is 0 at x is equal to 1. This factor is 0 at x is equal to 2. This factor is 0 at x is equal to 3. So once you identify the critical points, now we go to our baby curve where we draw the real number line and identify the critical points on the real number line. And we start from above x axis on the rightmost right -most interval. You have four intervals. So in the rightmost interval, we start from the positive direction, that is from the top. Next, we come to x is equal to 3. All the powers, as you can see, of each factor are odd. That means the sign change happens at each of these critical points. So the wavy curve can be directly drawn like this. At each point, the sign is changing. That is, at the first point 3, the curve is going from positive side to negative side. At x is equal to 2, from negative side to positive side. At x is equal to 1, from positive side to negative side. So this is the wavy curve. So once you have this, Wherever the wavy curve is above x-axis, that is the positive interval. Wherever the curve is below x-axis, that is the negative interval. So, what is the answer to this inequality? I want this inequality to be positive. That means these intervals are required. So, x belongs to 1, 2 union 3, infinity. So that is the answer to this inequality. That is the solution to this inequality. So, now let us go to the next question. Similar question. This is also factorized. So x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square into x minus 3 greater than 0. So for this question also, the first step has been already done. All the leading coefficients are 1. So now let us directly go to the second step. What are the critical points? 1, 2, and 3. These are the critical points. Now let us go to the third step. Let us draw the wavy curve. Let us identify 1, 2, 3. So you're starting from above the real number line. You start from this. So what happens at 3? So the power of x minus 3 is odd. That means the sign change happens at x is equal to 3. What happens at x is equal to 2? x minus 2, the power is even. That means the sign does not change at x is equal to 2. That means the curve which comes from the negative side again goes to the negative side. Next, let us see what is happening at x is equal to 1. For that, we need to see the power of x minus 1. It is 1. So, odd number. So, the sign changes. That means the curve goes from negative side to positive side. So, now the curve is above x axis in this interval and this, inter in this interval. Minus in these two intervals. So, I want this expression to be positive greater than 0. So, what is the solution for this? x belongs to minus infinity to 1, minus infinity to 1, union 3 to infinity. That's the answer to this question. So now let us look at some more examples so that you can become comfortable with the wavy curve method. So now let us look at these questions. So 4x minus 3 into 5 minus 2x whole square into 4 minus x whole cube is less than 0. This is also a factorized inequality. So, for this, what I do is, first I'll observe the individual factors. 4x minus 3, the leading coefficient is plus 4. It's okay. 5 minus 2x, the leading coefficient is minus 2, negative number. And 4 minus x, the leading coefficient is minus 1, negative number. So, first I'll try to 
make this negative leading coefficients into positives. So 4x minus 3 into, so I say that you have to make leading coefficients from negative to positive. It's not that you just need to make it into plus. You have to be logical. So 5 minus 2x whole square because the power is even. 5 minus 2x whole square, if I write 2x minus 5 whole square, if I take a minus common, so outside you get minus 1 whole square, which is same as 1. That means 5 minus 2x whole square is same as 2x minus 5 whole square. And from 4 minus x, if I take a minus outside, so you get minus 1 whole cube, which is a minus. So you have an extra minus of x minus 4 whole cube is less than 0. So now you have made all leading coefficients into positive, but you have an extra minus sign here. So I uniformly multiply both sides with minus 1. So it becomes 4x minus 3 into 2x minus 5 whole square into x minus 4 whole cube. What happens if you uniformly divide both sides, uniformly multiply both sides with a negative number? The sign of inequality changes. Let's remember this. It's very important. The sign of inequality changes. So now once you have this inequality, now this is, this comes under the standard inequalities. So next first stage has been done. All the leading coefficients are positive. Now let's go to the second stage. Identification of critical points. It is where is 4x minus 3, 0? x is equal to 3 by 4. Where is 2x minus 5, 0? x is equal to 5 by 2. Where is x minus 4, 0? x is equal to 4. So you got the critical points. Now let us draw the wavy curve. So let us plot this on the real number line. We know that 3 by 4 is less than 5 by 2 is less than 4. So once you have plotted this, the real number line has been split into four parts, right? So in the rightmost part, you start from above the real number line. So what happens at x is equal to 4? What is the power of x minus 4? Odd power. That means the sign is changing. That is, the curve goes from positive to negative. What is happening at 5 by 2? The corresponding factor is 2x minus 5. The power is even. That means sign does not change at x is equal to 5 by 2. That means the curve is approaching from the negative side. It again goes to the negative side. What is happening at 3 by 4? The power is 1 corresponding to this factor. That means the sign changes. So it goes from negative side to positive side. So the wavy curve is completed. Positive interval, negative interval, negative, positive. So what is the answer that you want? Do you want negative or positive? So you want it to be positive, right? Because once you change this inequality, the inequality effectively has become this. So you should not see this now. You have to see this. We have drawn wavy curve for this inequality. So I want my inequation to be greater than 0. So that means I want the positive intervals. So x is less than 3 by 4 or x is greater than 4 is the answer. Minus infinity to 3 by 4 union 4 to infinity is the answer. Now let us go to the next inequation. 4 minus 3x whole cube 2 plus x into 5 minus x whole square is greater than 0. So here also the problem is some of the leading coefficients are negative. So let us take a minus common. So 3x minus 4 whole cube, if you take a negative common, so you get minus 1 whole cube, you get an extra minus. 2 plus x is same as x plus 2, you are not doing anything special for this. 5 minus x whole square. So if you take a minus 1 common, it becomes x minus 5 whole square. And you get a minus 1 whole square outside. Minus 1 whole square is plus 1. So greater than 0. So you have a minus here. So uniformly you multiply with minus 1. So you get 3x minus 4 whole cube into x plus 2 into x minus 5 whole square is less than 0. So if you take both sides, if you multiply both sides with a negative sign, the sign of inequation changes. So you have this. Now, this is a standard factorized inequation. You can use wavy curve method. The first step is already done. 
So the second step is identification of critical points. You get 4 by 3 for this. You get minus 2 for this. You get plus 5 for this. So let us plot our wavy curve. So minus 2 is here. 4 by 3 is somewhere in between. 5 is at the last. So you start from above the real line. Real line. What is happening at x is equal to 5? x minus 5 whole square. The power is even. So the curve moves up. Next, what is happening at 4 by 3? This corresponds to 3x minus 4. The power is odd. That means the sign changes. What is happening at x is equal to minus 2? What is happening at x is equal to minus 2? The power is odd and the sign changes. So this goes above. So this is the positive interval. This is the negative interval. So what is the interval that I want? I want the negative interval, right? So I'm solving this in equation. So what is the answer? X belongs to minus 2 comma 4 by 3. So that's the solution to this in equation. So now let us see further more examples. So now let us look at still more examples. So let us see this question. X minus 4 into X square plus 1 into X minus 3 whole square is less than 0. So the first question is, is this a factorized inequality? So x minus 4 is a linear factor. x minus 3 whole square is also a linear factor. But x square plus 1 is a quadratic factor. So I cannot directly apply the wavy curve method unless I am sure about this factor. So what is the nature of this factor? So can I further factorize this? So x square plus 1 is a quadratic factor, quadratic expression. So can it be further factorized into two separate linear factors? No, because for x square plus 1, the value of delta, delta A is b square minus 4ac. So b square is 0, minus 4ac is minus 4. It is delta is negative, that means this factor cannot be factorized. And we know that from the theory of quadratic expressions, this expression is always positive. So x square plus 1 is a quadratic factor. If delta is negative and the leading coefficient is positive, then the expression is always positive. You can be sure about it. You'll understand this in the theory of quadratic expressions. So now, if this expression is always positive, so you can cancel this out because the left hand side is 0. So if the number is, you are sure that this number is positive, you don't need to take this into account at all. So the effective inequality depends on just x minus 4 and x minus 3 whole square. So I can as well write this as x minus 4 into x minus 3 whole square is less than 0. So this is a very important simplification that you do. Whenever you have quadratic factors, you can either factorize them, you can either try to factorize them. Or if the delta is negative and the leading coefficient is positive, delta is negative and the leading coefficient is positive, the expression is always positive. You can neglect this. So now you have a simple inequality. So you have 3 and 4 as the critical points. You start from above x-axis. At x is equal to 4, the power is odd. So the sign changes. x is equal to 3, the power is even. So the sign does not change. So this is the wavy curve, negative, negative, positive. I want my inequality to be negative. So x belongs to minus infinity to 3 union 3 to 4. So that's the answer to this inequality. So if you go to the next inequality, here also you have a quadratic factor. But can you see here also that what is the value of delta of this? b square is 1, minus 4, that is minus 3. Delta is negative and the leading coefficient is 1. Leading coefficient is positive. And this expression is always positive. So you can cancel this out. So the expression becomes x minus 5 whole square into x minus 2 is less than 0. So the wavy curve becomes something like this, minus 5 for this. 2 for this. So I start from above x axis 
and x is equal to 2. The sign changes, so this becomes negative. And x is equal to minus 5, the power is even, so the sign does not change. So it comes from negative side and goes to the negative side only. So this is negative side, this is negative side, this is positive side. Negative, negative, positive. So I want my inequality to be less than 0. So x belongs to minus infinity comma minus 5 union minus 5 comma 2. So this is the solution to this inequation. Thank you.